I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about integration by parts. In problem number 31, we'd like to evaluate the integral from 0 to pi of x sine x dx. So this is an integration by parts problem, but here we actually have a definite integral and not an indefinite integral. So there's just a little bit more to think about. So uh, let's break this up using our u and dv. So I'm going to let u in this case be my x and my dv be my sine x dx. Then du, is dx and v is equal to negative cosine of x. <clears throat> okay, so now that we have broken this up into my u, dv, du, and v, I can rewrite the integral. And the way that I do that is I take u times v, in other words, negative x cosine of x, but now I need to think about this for a second because since I'm taking a definite integral, once this is, so to speak, evaluated and brought out of the integral, uh, it needs to be evaluated from zero to pi. So I have to add in this evaluation sign saying, okay, I'm going to plug in the pi minus plugging in the zero because I've, so to speak, pulled some of the stuff out of that definite integral. Okay, minus integral from zero to pi of v du, which is negative cosine of x dx. And you see that I have a negative outside of my integral, I have a negative inside of my integral, so if I really wanted to, I could cancel those out, make them positive. Uh, let's do that real quick. I'll just rewrite this thing. This is negative x cosine x evaluated from 0 to pi. And then this minus times minus gives me plus the integral from 0 to pi of cosine of x dx. Uh, that's a simple antiderivative, so I get minus x cosine x evaluated from 0 to pi uh, plus, well, antiderivative of cosine of x is sine of x evaluated from 0 to pi. Let's plug things in. If I plug in pi here, I get negative pi times cosine of pi. Cosine of pi is negative 1. So I get negative pi times negative 1, which is pi. Then if I plug in 0, I get 0 times something, which is minus 0. So I, this guy is pi minus 0. Plus, if I plug in pi here, I get sine of pi, which is 0, minus sine of 0, which is 0. And so after all of this, we just get pi as the answer to this definite integral.